Welcome to DevCore. We are uh, going to talk to you guys about some paranormal stories that we have experienced. So we have five true paranormal stories to tell. One other thing, don't mind the dust. There's some dust floating around. Or it could be orbs. Or it could be orbs. So, uh, Corey, you want to start with story number one? Well, it was located up in our room at the time. It was in middle school, and um, we were about to play some Ouija board and all that stuff and my brother and I we were just like oh hey well we don't believe in ghosts is there any way you know you could prove to us that you're real and then it said yes and it told us to wait till 2 45 a.m. we decided to go upstairs and we were so scared that we were gonna hear something so we turned on the rock channel on our radio and we fell asleep just, you know, freaking out about every little shadow here and there. 2.45 a.m. comes around, and I wake up, and over the radio, there's this sound. Uh, it's, it's like nothing I've ever heard before. And so then I woke up Devin. So he woke me up, and he was kind of freaking out, Doesn't didn't know what was going on. And I was kind of like, okay, so he started to tell me what was happening. He said he was hearing... Like a little kid, we're on the second story, there's a window. He was hearing a kid running back and forth. So he, that's what he told me and I didn't believe him. And then like two minutes later, I was closing my eyes and then over the sound of the radio, I heard the little kid laughing back and forth. It had like a distinctive echo to the laughter. It was really, really like eerie. It was an eerie feeling. We uh, were young, so we freaked out. And then we, we ran downstairs and then we told our parents and then the sound went away, but well, still to stay, we'll never forget that day. Yeah. I even looked out the window to see if there was a little kid just running back and forth, back and forth, but there was no kid at all. And it was late in the morning, so there'd be no kid out there. So you know, who would want to play at 2.45 a.m. in the morning? Yeah. That was our story number one. It's kind of a shorter one, but it's something we both have never forgotten. So, and still hear it. You still, yeah, we still like remember the sound as clear as day. Now we're gonna go on to story number two. It's gonna be a story about Fawnley Flake Dam. We've done videos there before, and I'll let Corey tell the story. This one night, we decided to go out to Fawnley Flake and go get night kayaking. We decided to go over to the dam, and we we just started to get a little creeped out, you know, feeling like we we're being watched. My dad pans up on top of the dam to. Just, try to see if there's anything up there, you know. And so then as we panned left to right, my dad and I, we both saw this white mist going across the dam. Still to this day, we don't know what we saw with our eyes or anything. We just kept looking and kept looking. And you know how when you're close to a river and all that stuff, like the water is more energy. And then also is that you could actually hear voices in the water you know maybe it has a tie to the dam for some reason maybe it's the headless woman <laughs> there's a famous story that we checked online for it's on like the tahoe paranormal page on the website but we can never find it anywhere else but there's supposed to be a story of a woman there on the dam that carries her head in her arm and she's out around like midnight or something but uh, we haven't we haven't seen her before but, i mean they saw that white mist thing but there's actually like reports of a woman, but we have never seen it. On to story number three. This time it's not about like any kind of ghosts or anything like that. It's going to be about Bigfoot. And it's one of the, it's something he saw down near Kirkwood, which is only like 40 miles from here. Yeah. And this one day, my mom and I, we decided to go out to Kirkwood to go hiking. We, we just passed this huge tree. In the corner of my eye, there was something even more redder than the tree and all that stuff and it looked at me and then I made eye contact with it and then it stepped right behind the tree that I was looking at and I made sure that what I was seeing was not a wild animal or if it was Bigfoot you know you never know I decided to to actually go all the way around like make a big circle around this tree just in case because I didn't want to scare anything I didn't want to corner anything and so I went around the corner and then there was nothing. There was nothing in the tree. It was this tall being, like about eight feet tall. And he was just red, red hair all over. My mom and I, 
thought it was weird and we felt like we were just you know uneasy and we felt like we were being watched and then we decided to go a little bit further on the trail and right there there was a coyote bone you know like jaw bone on the side of the trail and so we're like well maybe maybe he was finishing off a coyote and he decided to hide away from us my mom also saw a red uh, a red furry thing you know running up the hill before we go on to story number four if any of you watching have your own story to tell put it down in the comments let us know if anything happened to you ghosts bigfoot aliens and the else along the paranormal line i also have a tall paranormal page and no one posts on except for me so. It'll be awesome to hear you guys' stories, and maybe we can actually put it into a video. We could change up your name. All right, on to story number four. It's gonna be from our dad, and it's gonna be about a werewolf story. So, here's my dad. When I was a kid, my mom was going to go across the street to see my aunt, see if she's doing okay, and right at the street, up on the hill, one of the mailboxes was a street light. My mom said that she was walking across the street and she looked up at the light there and there's big hairy dude standing up, you know, just looking at her and she's like, okay. And so, you know, she's looking at him, you know, and he's just standing there. And all of a sudden he crouched down, all four. And he starts running at her like a dog and it scared her and so she went running back in the house and told us that there's some guy running like a dog chasing her and it was raining a little bit and we heard something on our porch and so you know we're like oh we locked it and we saw the doorknob you know wiggling we're like oh he's trying to break in and all of a sudden it stopped and so about 10 minutes later, it was all quiet, so we opened up the door. And on our porch were dog prints, wet dog prints. And to this day, we have no idea if there was a werewolf or... I don't know, that was pretty freaky. And all right. Seven. Ah. <coughs> Welcome back. Ooh. Let me tell you a quick story about this doll right here. It was, I think, two days before my birthday and I decided to go birthday shopping. It was four years ago and we decided to go to a thrift store. So we went to this one, I forget the name though, but it was it was one in Reno. And we decided to walk around, you know, just take a stroll and look at things. And then right when we went around this one corner, then I felt like, ooh, this doll is giving me an uneasy feeling. So then, we had it at our house and our, our mom thought it was creepy too. So we played Ouija board, which no one really likes to play, scares them. And we just decided to ask it about the doll. And then we got answers saying that its name was Helen. And then I think we found out online somewhere that the doll was actually a Helen doll or something like that. So we're, we kind of freaked us out. <laughs> we didn't know. There's no like, no tag on it anywhere or no name anywhere. So on to story number five. It's going to be our final story. It is about Fall Leaf Lake area again. It's not really, it's kind of like over the hill from the lake, but it's on the trail that takes you to that chimney we had a video about a while ago. We went, we went out there for a night walk. It was like, I'd say it five years ago, middle of winter. We walked all the way in. Normally you could park near the river, but it was closed. So we had to walk from the highway. We were walking and we went to the dam and then we decided to keep going on the trail to the the, what we call the haunted spot, which is a chimney. And on the way there, before we got over like the first hill there, we noticed these tracks on the ground. They kind of reminded us of bunny rabbit tracks, but then we kind of realized that the strides were like six feet apart. And they're super far apart, and it was like two toes and one in the back. The footprints were bigger than the bunny. Yeah, when the footprints were a massive bunny. Yeah, the footprints were pretty big, and it was like two toes in front and one in the back. Where we were joking that it was a dinosaur, but. It was just a joke, but then we just kind of followed the trails, the trail, and went into the tree line, and then it kind of just stopped and didn't go anywhere else from there. And we followed where the trail came from, and it let, went all the way up to this manhole, and that's where the, the trail started. So we 
We immediately got this really weird feeling. All four of us did. We were with their parents and stuff, but it's like that feeling in your stomach. Yeah. That like it turns everything that you just want to just run or hide. But it was really it kind of freaked us out. I mean, we didn't know what it was because the strides were so big and stuff. And we we decided not to go any further. We decided to go straight back to our car because we in our minds were like, oh, there's an alien out here, but. To this day, we don't know. We haven't seen those footprints like that since. We've been out there plenty of times in the winter. We haven't seen anything else like it before. But the weirdest thing was it came from the manhole. Yeah. Like it just it looked like something just crawled out and then just started wandering and off. And then the trail just ends at a tree. Yeah. The tree line just gone. And there was nothing up in the tree. Like we checked that out, and then um, it was just it was just a weird night. Yeah. All right. So those five stories of paranormal encounters we've had and two quick stories so we hope you enjoyed this video and we have a couple more stories to tell but we kind of got to refresh our minds so if you want another video like this make sure to like the video and comment down below also if you're new here we do a whole bunch of random videos this is a more serious one so make sure to subscribe and follow us and yeah and we know we say this a lot, but if we get up to 50 subscribers, we will do something special for you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Oh, yes. Uh, oh my God. Oh!